Now, this is a picture, if you ever read Destiny, the Free the Beagle trilogy, you'll recognize this as um, intuition with her puppies, uh, Faith and Hope. Now, when I was looking for an artist to create all the sketches in that book, and there's dozens and dozens and dozens, there was a look that I wanted, and one of the examples I showed all the artists that I interviewed was the original Winnie the Pooh drawn by A. A. Milne. Now, I said, see that right there? There's a certain thing that I can't quite describe stylistically about this drawing. And there were two or three other books that I would show these drawings. And then I would show the James Thurber dogs. And I said, what is it about these drawings that I like? Because I, I want an artist that can capture that for me to illustrate Free the Beagle and Destiny. And what happened is we finally found an artist who looked at all the examples I gave him and Matt said, hey, it's a single line weight. You're attracted to drawings or sketches with a single line weight. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, there's not thicker and thinner lines. He says, it's pretty much one width of line. It's a very simple style of drawing. And he sat down and he sketched several things very quickly. And I said, you're hired, you're the guy. Now, that is an example, remember? That's not a principle. It's one manifestation of when you create a style guide, you're looking for things that people will instantly be able to look at and recognize your ad. Your style guide is what connects all of your ads to each other. Now, John Ruskin, 160 years ago, talked about how the language of shape, those things that we create with lines, and the language of color, are like notes and rhythm and music. And the things that you say with lines and colors can be impressions. They don't necessarily need to be true. It's not just the image itself that moves us, but the very form, the shape of its lines and colors. Now, you might recognize this as the interior of a J. Peterman catalog. Now, you'll notice several things about the style guide of a J. Peterman catalog. You don't have people with faces. You see, and you don't even see photographs. You see sketches, little watercolored sketches of the clothing. They don't even show you real people inside real clothes. Now, let's read this together. A symbol of your independence. There's a movement in this country. You know who they are. The pleasure deniers. They take classes in self-improvement can break down the properties in tofu. Don't want you having any fun either. They say you have to have a short, serviceable blazer. Why do you need such a long one? Perhaps because it has attitude, an air of mystery. In a more formal occasion, you could wear a long velvet blazer. Yet, with jeans, it's casual panache at its well panachiest. I would fight to see you in this. Then again, it depends on what those classes in self-improvement are. Despite its tailored look, slightly nipped in at the waist, it's exceedingly comfortable, not to mention slimming, has a notched collar, four-button closure, six buttons on the cuff give it a custom quality, welt pocket on chest, flat pockets on, flat pockets on front. Notice, who is the woman in the long velvet blazer? It's not them. Oh yes, it's not the pleasure deniers. Creating an imaginary world and causing you to see yourself in these clothes. The style guide of the J. Peterman catalog. Sketches, not photographs. Lots of copy. Not describing just the article of clothing, but describing the kind of person who would wear such clothing. These J. Peterman catalogs have such a distinct style guide that when you've seen a J. Peterman catalog, you can instantly recognize another one without having to see the word Peterman anywhere on it.